Hello, agentpreneurs, and welcome to episode 91 of the Daily List Report. Today, what we're doing is we're bringing you some of the highlights from a very early episode of the show, way back to episode 19, with my high school friend, dear friend, Michael Berdellis, who is a top agent. He has sold 1,400 homes in his career. Super hard worker. Great conversation that we had about mindset, about brand, about focus. And so we've taken out the best bits of that conversation and we're gonna play them for you right now. What's your best advice to an agent who says, I know what I'm supposed to do, but I just can't do it? Um, a lot of it is baggage. You know, we, we all have baggage. So you have to set those excuses aside. Wake up in the morning and say, hey, what am I going to do today? I'm going to kick some butt today and, and get it done. So my advice is what I do every day. Make a list of the things that I want to do and I check up on that. Um, the second big thing I do is time block. So I do, I do that every day. And then, yes, the fires are going to come at you during the day. But if you have a basis of which these are the things that you want to accomplish, then, then you can get it done. Mindset is a difficult thing. We all find motivation for that in different ways. People that are motivated are self-motivated for whatever reason. It's usually financial. Yeah. You know, agents, whatever it is, whether it's music or a podcast or listening to experts like yourself, whatever it is, you have to find a way to sort of break through and commit. There's no substitute for the hard work, right? So, I mean, I would say average days is, is wake up, um, usually read a few newspapers online, you know, USA Today, um, things like that, uh, and then make a list, as I said. So my list consists of a few spokes to a wheel. It consists of listings. What do I have to do for my current listings? It consists of escrows. What do I have to do or delegate to my team? in regards to what we have going on with our current transactions. What do I have to do marketing wise with whatever media it may be? Uh, and there is a lot of that for me as well. Um, and then the other one is past clients. I spend a per portion of my day dealing with past clients. Well, you have to be known for something, but that doesn't mean that you can't have fun with it. The best thing that you can do to build your brand, in, in my opinion at least, is to be yourself. I mean, if you're gonna do this, you may you made it, might as well do it your way and what, what uh, is good, you know, makes you happy. If you're committing to being in real estate and if you have aspirations to be a successful real estate agent, you have to be willing to take those gut checks. And being known for something is number one and two, being willing to reinvest back into your business. And it's such a hard thing to do, but you have to invest and you have to play the long game. Just, just get out there. There, are, there is a lot of fear out there from agents that I, I notice. There are some that just feel like they can't do real estate and are using this as an excuse to stay inside and maybe not do the normal things that they would norm, you know, be accustomed to doing. That's one aspect. And then the other side is there's some that are out there just working it. And I, I would put myself in that category and I see other agents doing the same. And that is, you know, in this time as an agent, it's so easy to just watch Ozark until you're done with it at home and do, no and do nothing else. Um, it's so easy to not wake up until 11 or 12 because you think there's nothing going on. But if you can you know, keep a schedule um, and, and get out there, you, know, you, can, you can still do well. And, and more than anything, be creative with doing different things, um, doing virtual open houses. So you just got to keep plugging away and just a little bit different now. So yeah, as I say, no, I think that's, oh, as they say what? what's that? As I say, it's the new norm, right? Yeah. It's the new way. It is the new norm. And I think that, you know, we as a business, and we've been talking a lot about this, have deep conviction that some of these changes are going to last well beyond this period, right? So this move to virtual. And one of the things that I think is a great benefit to an agent is that an agent can be a lot more efficient. You, you can't be above anything, right? So what you're saying right now is you do whatever it takes. If you have a buyer who isn't comfortable going to a house, then you do what you have to do to close that deal. I hope you enjoyed today's replay. Um, Michael's tremendous. He's just such a tremendous agent. I can't tell you how hard this guy works. He's, 
He's such a customer advocate. He's so focused on what he does. He's built an amazing team and amazing business. And I know from all of the comments that you guys have left that it's really meaningful for you to hear from other top agents so that you can learn from them. You can see what they're doing. But as we've talked about, you're going to find your own playbook. You can't use someone else's playbook. It can inform you. Right? You can learn from what other people are doing, but find the aspects of those playbooks that work for you and build your own playbook because that's the way that you're going to be successful in this business. Until tomorrow, be safe, be healthy, be happy, and we'll see you real soon.